Distinguished guests, all the experts, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I come from Guizhou Province, Leishan County. It's my great honor to be part of the con uh, of the symposium today. So, on behalf of our county, I'd like to give my gratitude to all the organizers and your considerate arrangement. So I have the opportunity to share with you about our ecological resources, our experiences, how to realize the value of our ecological products and services. About two years ago, New York Times published the 52 most popular tourist attractions in China, Guizhou, Hangzhou, and they are listed on the, on the list. So, for Guizhou, it's a very authentic ecological reserve place. We, re we retain the natural beauty of the place, and my hometown, Leishan County, is one of the beautiful and unique county in Guizhou province. So first of all, I'd like to give you an overview of Leishan County in terms of our ecological products and our efforts taken as well as the challenges and confusions we have to share with all of you. So first one, Leishan County is situated in Guizhou provinces. It's in the, the uh, south part, it's in the west part of Guizhou. And uh, the area size, uh, sorry, uh, the population is about 150,000, and the Miao people is about 84% of the overall population. And the forest coverage is over 70%. It's also a national level comprehensive ecological demo zone. UNESCO uh, used to consider Leishan as a beautiful place that is good to back for the future, uh, back to the nature. It's also a future destination. It's a good place for your spiritual growth. It's also it's also a minority cultural museum. And first, the beauty of Leishan. First of all, we have very strong minority culture. For the county of Leishan, we have very strong Miao minority cultural heritage. We have very beautiful Miao villages. Xijiang, thousands of Miao houses, is the most famous. We have Miao embroidery and the other intangible cultural heritage on the national level, very special minority Miao uh, culture heritage. So we have the most, uh, the, we have the richest Miao culture, uh, cultural heritage. And also uh, for the Miao people, they have very special their minority festivals. For example, their special New Year and their special banquet festivals. So the Miao minority is considered a minority of dancing and uh, street culture. And the, all the Miao people, they are really good at dancing and singing, and they are very artistic people. So the Miao fling of song is world renowned. It's considered the treasure of the Miao minority. At Leishan, we have a very beautiful nature. Leishan is a mountainous place. And the peak of Leigong Mountain is very famous. So the Lei Mountain uh, is at the center of the place. And also, a lot of people rely on the mountains to grow plants and uh, make a living. So for the Lei Mountain, is is enormous and very beautiful. And uh, it's very seasonal as well. We have very rich ecological resources. We have diverse uh, biodiversity. We have very strong biodiversity. And uh, per cubic centimeter, the native oxygen ion is over 5,000. It's considered the, the natural oxygen bar and also a biodiversity data bank. It's a very special region uh, protected. So the beauty of Leishan rests upon the 
the very authentic villages, ancient villages. Leishan is in the southwest of China. We have a lot of intangible cultural heritage because we retain the ancient villages. We have a delicious food and a very strong cultural components. Leishan has a lot of ancient villages with strong historical treasures combined with beautiful scenery. So the first one, Xijiang, we have 58 traditional villages represented by the thousand Miao villages that I mentioned earlier. Fifty-eight traditional villages have been recognized the national level traditional villages, and is the county that has most traditional villages. In which there are three major Miao villages recognized as the world level cultural heritage, and also we have great minority cultures. We have wood character building, and it is in great value and high level value regarding agriculture and agriculture. So in this special kind of structure, you will be able to see the mountains and the river area. And secondly, for many years, we, we wanted to make sure that we will be able to protect our ecological resources and our cultural heritage. And we have to make sure that to protect our green mountains and lucid waters, we'll be able to transfer those into invaluable assets. And also, we want to make sure that the natural capital is of great and significant meaning, and we want to make sure that we will be able to recognize the significance and background of natural capital. A lot of places have recognized national na natural capital. In China, we're doing the same thing. We want to make sure the harmonious coexistence of the human and the nature, and you have to recognize in our current civilization process, we need to know and to make sure about this concept. Since, to, since 2011, we wanted to make sure that we make sure about ecological development in industrial areas. And we have made great efforts and achieved great outcomes. We want to make sure that the green mountains and lucid water will be able to be transformed into the invaluable assets. And this is a great relation that practices of this. And so we need to make sure about the value of the ecological products as well as to do a better accounting. So we're talking about the fresh air, clean water, climate, and very rich and abundant cultures. So these four human beings are of great value. We need to further protect and better use of this precious natural resources and recognize that once being destroyed, it is very difficult to restore the precious values. Even if we can, then we have to pay a great price for that. So Channel Nanzhou is a is the pilot places, and we want we are greatly located with the Research Center for Ecological Science of Chinese Academy of Sciences. So we have the premise of better combine the natural resources, the natural value, as well as to better better accounting. And right now we have been able to to. Protect about 50 to, to 5 billion remaining on a yearly level. 
And also, we need to significantly recognize the value of ecological products in accounting. We have to make sure about the value. After that, we can make sure that ecological efforts will be able to put in places with the economic development so that we will be able to realize the value of ecological products. We make sure, and we will be able to make sure that we'll be a better user of this. Assets without further destroying them. Just like our efforts in protecting the environment, we need to make sure that we will plant more trees than plant before we cut them down. We have to make sure to protect these efforts by ourselves, because protection will be able to create for us. More sustainable development and value. Certainly, we need to make sure to design a model design for the glacial protection. So this is a key point. In order to make sure the relation of the glacial products in recent years, we have made great efforts. In our agricultural products, and we establish a, a great model to do that. For instance, the Xijiang model, and we establish the largest Miaozu heritage and Miao houses, the Xijiang thousands of Miao houses. And based on this, we attract many tourists and establish the so-called Xijiang model. The missions are further contributed back to the local communities and can be shared among all the village people, so that we will be able to establish this model of wealth sharing and evaluation. To make sure that we will be able to protect the traditional cultures, and the seventy percent of the admission has been jointly shared, and the national culture of Xijiang got unprecedented inheritance and protection and its development. And in our establishment of the Miao Zhai. And we combine the cooperation mechanism, and we better manage the har harmonious situation and coexistence of the local community and the cultural protection. And right now, the mission revenue accounts for 25 percent of the local revenue, and also we have the agricultural tea leaves production, so that we are cultivating the long-term development of the green products. In 2017, the area of the tea leaves production is over 10 acres, 160,000 acres. And right now, our tea level has also been greatly recognized on the national level. And Lishan has been recognized as the model area for the national tea leaves production and be recognized by the national standards. For a, we need to pay attention to exploration and formation of. Institutional arrangements, realizing the value of ecological issues, is a very big obstacle and issue. Requires long-term government efforts, and also in this process, we have to make sure to use scientific accounting measures to and to formulate. Strategies and models to realize the value of ecological products, so as to make sure that we can better protect our ecological areas, and we will give rewards and incentives to local communities that conduct conservation efforts. So that local people will be able to recognize the value of ecological products, and we need to have a well-rounded platform, and this is truly crucial. 
especially we need to establish marketing channel and investment channel. Right now, we have a lot of investment or money that do not have investment channels, whereas a lot of places with abundant abundant resources cannot have and find matching investors. So we need to match and bridge this. Uh, different areas. For instance, we, without the Panama World Expo, with Mai Tai wine will not be recognized. And thirdly, in our development process, of course, we we met some issues. First of all, how can we better transform ecological resources advantages into economic advantages so that we can make our green mountains into gold and silver mountain? And how can we bring benefits of ecological resources to our residents? And how can we replicate this model? And secondly, how can we establish a long-term mechanism of this value chain or interest chain so that between the government and local communities and residents will have a virtual cycle. And thirdly, how can we further protect minority culture because we have to make sure that different ethnic villages will preserve different aspects. For for ecological products, value relation usually require a long-term and low benefits so that there's no strong willingness for investors. Fifthly, how can we further share our outcomes with other like-minded people? Through many years of efforts, we use ecological resources and cultural resources to establish our Xijiang Liao Zhai, our very proud brand. And we establish this very famous green brand of Leishan County. In the future, we will further cherish our natural resources. We'll make more efforts in protecting and conserving our natural resources. We'll ha we will make sure that in Leishan we'll be able to always embrace our green mountains and waters so that we'll have even more ecological products and further promote the value relation realization of our ecological products. And I'm now here to sincerely invite all of you to join in our efforts in protecting our natural resources. And we want each and every one of you to visit Leishan County in Guizhou province in China to firsthand experience the beautiful sceneries and the abundant cultures in Leishan County. All the wealth and happiness in the future. Thank you so much.